The issue of whether HIV prevention programs should promote abstinence only or include condom use divided opinion during the International AIDS Conference in Vienna. The main target was PEPFAR, the US President's emergency plan for AIDS relief. Set up under Bush, a third of PEPFAR's funds go to the programs that teach abstinence and fidelity only. Groups like the Center for Health and Gender Equality think that this is a mistake and are encouraging those who agree to send postcards to US Global AIDS Ambassador Eric Goosby, who heads up PEPFAR. I think abstinence and fidelity are important in terms of part of a broader comprehensive strategy to prevent HIV infections. The problem is when abstinence and fidelity programs, when they stand alone, it's missing important components to prevention. For example, male and female condoms and their correct consistent use, as well as the skills to negotiate um, safer sex. And so, when, so abstinence and fidelity should be part of a broader comprehensive package. J.V. on Nelson, a youth advocate from Jamaica, says the policies don't match what's really happening on the ground. The fact of the matter in Jamaica, for example, a study that was done in 2001 among about 1,000 young people between 10 to 15 years showed that you know, almost 100% of them, a large percentage of them, were having sex, you know, sexual initiation in Jamaica. It's quite early for girls as well as boys. And so it shows that young people are having sex. And so abstinence-only campaigns cannot work. They do not have any place in the society, really, because if you're going to teach abstinence-only, then those who are having sex are the majority. And so they're being left out. And so there's a great gap, a disparity between what they're being told by their friends and what they should be told by policy through policies and through programs supported by the government. A few years ago, HIV AIDS was one of the leading causes, second leading cause of death among young people in Jamaica. And so that shows the great danger for a country like Jamaica. As tensions run high at the conference, Ambassador Gooseby comes under fire for not changing strategy. But there is a recognition that there is only so much he can do. There's still a reporting requirement for if you don't, if you if you are doing comprehensive and don't focus on abstinence fidelity, you need to report to Congress and explain why why you're not doing that. And this really comes from a conservative wave in our country, um, in the United States, and in the government. That um, even when you look at sex education in the schools in the United States, there is a big push for abstinence that comes mostly from the evangelical religious conservative communities. And that's really um, poured over into our U.S. foreign assistance and into PEPFAR.